Yeah. Just That's bring perfect. Dr. Sherry Yafai into the conversation because you're a cannabis specialist and as we're talking about this, mm -hmm. Uh, delving into your investigation, what you see in your practice now, because I think that's a valid question. You are a doctor, emergency medicine doctor, who has now become a cannabis specialist. How do we know the advice we're getting is valid? <laughs> that's exactly right. So you have to be really mindful of who you're getting the advice from. So if it's somebody behind the counter at a at a dispensary, they're called bud tenders, like a bartender. <laughs> but the bud tenders right now in the state of California have no regulatory standards to what they need in education, but that is changing. So the Department of Cannabis uh, here in Los Angeles is working on creating a set set of standards for those bud tenders to have to undergo. And one of the things we see in the ER, and Travis, I'm sure you're gonna see this in the ER as well, is edible overdoses. And this is really important to know it's a non-lethal overdose. You're not gonna die. You will land in the emergency department from six to 48 hours and feel awful, even have a panic attack. But that being said, there's a couple things we can remember in terms of the edible safety. Number one, if you're a first time user, don't use an edible. That's just plain and simple. If you're comfortable with cannabis, go ahead and use, and you have to know your dose. This is what I would leave people with. Know your dose. Are you a one milligram THC? Do you take five milligrams of THC? Where does that dose sit for you? And remember, here in the I, state of California. to interrupt, quick oh. question. How does someone find their dose? I, I realize that this is for more experienced people, but when you said that to me, I was like, how would I know what my dose is? So I was just right. curious. So you have to look at the labeling on these. The, so the best part about legalization has been the labeling process and the consistency. So now all of the edibles are required to have a label. The max dose in a full edible is 100 milligrams here in the state of California. That's right, I hear a lot of whistles in the audience. And that's interesting because anybody who whistled knows that's a lot of medication. Your dose is gonna sit about one hundredth of that. So that one chocolate bar is good for a month to three months for most people. Is, is that being well publicized? That's because the, see, I feel like that's the issue with the overdoses, yeah, right? I mean, I'm gonna eat a whole I mean, chocolate bar. You normally bar. eat a whole candy bar. The, you get one of these candy a bars. Of and, whoa, yeah. you're end up at you will only hear exactly. this information with on the, this show because the this truth is, no one event. is talking about this. Correct. And 100 milligrams is a huge dose. It's that's the equivalent. Exactly. The, the standard dose, if you go buy a mint, is 10 milligrams, which for some people, it would be like chugging a six-pack of beer. I mean, oh, no, for some people, it's a big, big dose. It would be a pint of vodka for some people. So, you know, why, wow. why do the standard dosages seem so high? It's really simple, actually. So 100 milligrams is a one-month to three-month prescription, so to speak. When you go into a pharmacy to pick up your pills, you're picking up a month's worth of medication. You don't want to have to go back every week to pick up another round of medication. So remember, for our cancer patients, we want them to be able to have a month's worth of medication at a time. The key is, is to know your dose, which is what we were talking about, is one-tenth or one-hundredth of that. So you can just start at one milligram. Really, one milligram. But I think it's important to point out, so then what I think should be happening, or the direction that would be nice, is that rather than you going in and getting one chocolate bar, just like when you go to the pharmacy and you get 30 pills, right. that these things should be broken up so it's really user-friendly. And it's, it's so obvious to you that you don't just eat the whole bar in one sitting. 